Now the search is on for the person who killed this local father of five, a well-known realtor who was gunned down this past weekend in northwest Jacksonville. Loved ones tell us the man's name is Derek Hartley. Jacksonville police say he was shot multiple times following an argument. His death is the 41st homicide here in Jacksonville so far this year, according to News 4 Jack's records. And News 4 Jack's reporter Janice Harris spoke with two people who say Derek Hartley made their lives better and this murder is a tragic loss for the community. Janice? He sure did, and, and they love him dearly. They say that father of five and husband is someone that was priceless to the community, but the shooter that took his life is yet to be found. Today's gloomy weather is a reflection of the devastating pain hundreds of people are feeling after realtor Derek Hartley was shot and killed Saturday at Moncrief and 35th Street. Will McKenzie says he and Hartley both work in the real estate industry, but he was also his friend, and McKenzie loved Hartley like a brother. He was an advocate for uh, all young people, so, I mean, who he was and what he was to our community, we took a major loss. A loss that remains an unsolved homicide. McKenzie says Hartley was known as one of the good guys in the community, and he did not have enemies. Not in a million years we would have thought this would happen to him. It has left us speechless. As his friends and loved ones mourn his death, those who knew him from a distance are speaking out through social media. Prayers to the family. People, if you're not saying anything and you know something, you're part of the problem and not the solution. Prayers for the kids and family. God is in control. He liked it, and he was like, I think this is fit for you. you know, this he, is Paula Mitchell. Hartley helped her buy this home a year ago. Came. Mitchell said Hartley talked about improving the same neighborhood where he was shot and killed. Do you ever hear him talk about All time. ownership yes. of homes? Always. He's like, hey, I'm going to go out here, and I'm going to go buy these homes, and they're going to be right there off of Mount Creek, you know, local, way, you know, way all his people, at, all, you know, way we grew up at. Sadly, Hartley's dream of home ownership for others has ended before it's time as police search for who cut his dream short. Despite the tragedy, Hartley's legacy of helping the community lives on. And we've checked again so far. No arrests have been made. If you know anything about this shooting, you are urged to contact police or Crime Stoppers immediately. Live on the north side, Janice Harris, Channel 4, the local station.